10 tips to keep in mind when training your dog. 1. Listen to your dog. Learn to listen to your dog. If your dog appears to be uncomfortable meeting another dog, animal or person, don't insist that he say hello. He's telling you that he isn't comfortable for a reason and you should respect that. 2. Be generous with your affection. Make sure you give your dog lots of attention when he's doing the right thing. Let him know that when he's been a good boy, that's the time to be extra generous with your attention and praise. 3. Does he really like it? Just because the bag says a treat all dogs love doesn't mean your dog will automatically love it. Some dogs are very selective about what they like to eat. Soft and chewy treats are usually more exciting for your dog than hard and crunchy treats, so keep your eyes open for what he enjoys. 4. Tell him what you want him to do. Dogs don't generalize well, so if your dog jumps up on someone to say hello and you say no, he may jump higher. A better alternative would be to ask him to sit, tell him exactly what you want him to do in order to avoid confusion. 5. Be consistent. Whenever you're training your dog, it's important to get as many family members involved as possible so everyone's on the same page. If you're telling your dog off, when he jumps on the couch and someone else is saying down, how on earth is he ever going to learn what you want? Continuity will be the key to your success. 6. Have realistic expectations. Changing behavior takes time. You need to have realistic expectations about changing your dog's behavior. Often behaviors which are normal doggy behaviors will take the most time, such as barking, digging, and jumping. Remember, it's never too late to change the behavior. Some will just take longer than others. 7. Don't underestimate the benefits of feeding a high quality food. Feed your dog a high quality diet with appropriate amounts of protein. The money that you'll spend on feeding an appropriate quality food will often be money that you save on vet bills later on. I recommend you always check with your veterinarian for the right diet for your dog. 8. You get what you reinforce, not necessarily what you want. If your dog exhibits a behavior you don't like, and there's a strong likelihood that it's something that has been reinforced before. A great example of this is when your dog brings you a toy and barks to entice you to throw it. You throw the toy, and your dog has just learned that barking gets you to do what he wants. 9. Bribery versus reward. Every interaction you have with your dog is a learning opportunity. So when you think about it, you probably don't use food very often except during active training sessions. Instruct him with praise, touch, games and walks. Remember, the behavior should produce the treat. The treat should not produce the behavior. 10. Freedom. Let your new dog gradually earn freedom throughout your home. A common error that many pet parents make is giving their new dog too much freedom too soon. One of the best ways to minimize incidents is to keep your dog tethered to you in the house and by using a crate or doggy safe area where you can't actively supervise him. Check out Bully Max's line of muscle building supplements at www.bullymax.com.